me. Hi, I'm Dave. <laughs> we'll show you our house. It's very nice. It's very quiet. This is the porch, of course, with our bench, where we whittle wood. <laughs> this house is really small. We had a hard time fitting everything in here. This is the dining room, and this is the living room. <laughs> They're adjacent. And this is the bookshelves. We still haven't put any books in them. We've owned them for six months and never put any books in them. Oh well. This is the entertainment center. Ooh. Antique and very nice, of course. This is a kitty. This is Chesterfield. He says hi. <coughs> Come oh. see the kitchen with the great one. Oh, take a picture of the carpet. See the beautiful color of the wonderful orange carpet? Very pretty, I like it. And the kitchen has a, a wonderful carpet also. <laughs> it's designer. <laughs> kind of small, but we fit everything in here. There was no place to put any of the food, so we had to put it on that shelf. That's where all our food is. And the cabinets are real high. They're man-sized cabinets. <laughs> you have to be tall to get in them. Put the light Pretty switch on. This is the hallway. It has lots of furniture and junk in it because we haven't finished unpacking. First and stop, toilet. First stop is the bathroom. <clears throat> Notice where the washer and dryer is in the bathroom? We had a hard time getting that in there. Oh, uh, this is the highlight? You gonna show us how to flush it? <laughs> okay. This is another hallway, not good for very much except storage. We're going to put some shelves in it and call it the garage. Except we can't park the cars there. This is the master bedroom, which is barely big enough to fit everything. But I think we did it. Kind of hard to get into the drawers, but what the heck. Nobody ever said life was easy. We have one more room. This is getting too long. It's a mess. We haven't really cleaned it much yet. It's called the guest bedroom on this end. Unwanted guests stay here. <laughs> and it's called the office on the other end. We started out in the front. We came in the front way. Now we'll go out the back way. Step down. We have the van. It's been parked here almost two weeks. We haven't unloaded it. We've been very negligent. Notice the broken window. They haven't come and fixed it yet. That's what happens when you live in a rental house. <laughs> the best part of living here is the surrounding wood. We're going to unpack the van sometime in the next year. <laughs> Actually, we've got no, no place to put the stuff. So oh my no God. Should we go around and venture around the back? And it's about as full as it can be. As you can see, <laughs> God. it's pretty crowded in there. Where are you going to put all this stuff? Don't know yet. We're hoping somebody will build a big house, maybe. Have extra room. Show them the surrounding woods, though. This is yeah. what it looks like very around. Very pretty here. It's very pretty. There's deer that walk through here daily. Tiptoe. And a stone kind of driveway. Very uh, informal. Neighbors, 
Let's show the distance between the two houses here. Let's walk, let's walk out in front of you. Okay. That's a girl's dormitory we're looking at now. Oh, okay. Get close up of the Name? Peace. Last name? Is that Peace too? Yep. Let's zoom in on them. Hmm. Is it going? Yeah. This is about, uh, oh, what would you say, a quarter mile down the road from our house? Yeah. Very nice place to walk. We missed getting one of these houses by uh, about a month, I think. Not high enough in pecking order. Right. I think you have to buy them. I don't think those are rentals. Really? I'm not sure though. A lot of forest. You see a lot of leaves right now, but they're not on the tree anymore. They were very pretty on the tree. Are you left? Or no, right? Go right. Florida Avenue? No, go up to the campus. Okay. Now we're going up towards the main campus. You better go by where Pat works. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the purpose of this trip. It's Sunday night of Thanksgiving break, so it's pretty deserted still. Most of the people left campus for the Thanksgiving weekend. Head to the right is the All Saints Chapel. That's where all the church services are and the convocations, and kind of a, the centerpiece of the campus. And then attached to it, we can just stop here a minute, can't we? To the left in the middle is um, Carnegie Hall. There's an observatory on the top of it. And then over to the left further is, um, I can't remember <laughs> what that part's called. But then over beyond it, where the another tower is over there, we'll go by there, we'll turn, take a left here, there, is um, Convocation Hall. And there's a, a caroline in one of these towers somewhere, which is like a bell, a, like a, a, a musical instrument that sounds like bells. And they give caroline concerts. So take a right on George. Shoot Rebels Rest on the left. On the left is a... It's a guest house. It's a guest house called Rebels Rest. It's really neat. It's over 100 years old. We're good. It's because it wasn't going take, the first check time. Check out huh? the windows in this convocation hall. In the right. And there's cloisters. It looks real cool. It's all native um, sandstone. Everything's built out of that. This is Gary Hall Auditorium in it. Gary Auditorium. And then right here is Woods Laboratory. It's the science building. It has computers and science labs in it. This building right here is a fraternity. It's one of the oldest fraternities. I don't remember what the name of it is, but that's a fraternity house. And then coming up here is the library. Go a little further so you can take the picture of the front of it. They keep all the books there. Looks like some students have returned. Vice Chancellor's house. It's pretty brand new. They just built it a couple years ago with a big donation somebody made. It's real fancy. It has a ballroom and everything. Cost a million or a couple million, something like that. Way out of our price range. Is it? The cross. We're going 
going down University Avenue towards the town center of Sawan. Downtown Sewanee. <laughs> Big town. One gas station, one bank, one post office. There's an electric company. Post office. Where is that? To your left. <laughs> you missed it. Get a shot of the competition. Dude, so nobody goes there. Nope. That's not gonna come out walking. Well, no, we don't recommend it. And there's shenanigans. That's where all the kids hang out. It's a... Should I turn? Local policeman. And the gas station. One gas station. I bought gas there once. It's kind of expensive. Student in a Jaguar, probably. This is the new sports and fitness center. It's gonna be big and really nice. It's got a swimming pool, racquetball courts, indoor tennis courts, all that stuff. Several months behind schedule. You have a football team? Yeah, the Tigers. Yeah, and this is the football field. I don't think they play a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's a small world. Uh, that's a golf course. It's... That's the golf course that we get to use for $20 a year. Does the red light blink when it's on? Is that the deal? Yeah. Okay. I see it. That's the golf course. Twenty dollars a year. We bought a set of golf clubs for ten dollars, and we'll buy a membership for twenty. So we're gonna golf for a year for thirty dollars. Oh, we gotta buy some balls. It's fifty bucks. From his friend at their garage. We got a couple dozen golf clubs for ten dollars. Yeah, a bunch of them on the woods. Is it on? Now we're headed towards Green's View. It's one of the wonderful overlooks on the campus that look out over the bluff. This is where you go parking every weekend. Except for that red pickup truck. We might hang. Oh. This is the valley below us. This is about, oh, this spot we're looking off from is about maybe a mile or half a mile from where we live. We could walk here. You can walk on the whole campus. Someday we might live on a farm down there and raise chickens. Fulford Hall, the admissions building, used to be the residence of the vice chancellor. Mile away from home now. Five, ten minute walk. Stop at the bottom of Dabo's Alley. Down here. A lot of these houses are real old. Abo's Alley, turn to the right. There's a trail going back through there next to a, a brook. And there's a, it's like a nature walk that goes through the heart of the campus. This is 
Florida Avenue, another one of the wooded residential streets on campus. We're a stone's throw away from our house that's just up over the hill. Professors or students, you think? Probably, uh, I how about know. that students? Honda Accord and a Volvo, that's probably students. And now we're looking at the back of the new rec center about where the indoor tennis courts are. I'm down pretty fast. We're about a quarter mile away, less, a tenth of a mile away from our house now. A one minute walk. Headed for Morgan Steep. Right at the end of our street is Morgan Steep, which is a very pretty point to look off the mountain or to get on trails. It's about a three minute walk from where we live. Same guy is there. And this is Morgan Steep. Very pretty in the fall. I suppose it's very pretty in all seasons. Yep. Now we're on Tennessee Avenue going out towards the Memorial Cross. See the light. See heaven. <laughs> See Jesus. <laughs> this is a war memorial to all the veterans from this area who were killed in wars. And it, it's, See it's the up light. On, a, on the side of the mountain and when you're coming up the mountain from Cowan at night you can see it because it's got lights shining on it. It's this cross shining up on the mountain. It looks pretty cool. Get it this way, Bill. To your left. It's not as bright. Back to Morgan Steep. We've been trying to get y'all some sunset pictures. Hope you've been patient enough. Yes. Is it on? This is Morgan Steep. It's a very old place, very famous place on this campus. And it's the beginning of a couple of trails. A perimeter trail comes through here. You can go that way. See, there's a sign there. The Arcadian Trail. We were on part of that earlier today. It goes... The life of the rich and famous. <laughs> Pat and Dave here. Little smoochy woochy. Oh, let's zoom in on. Oh, let's come on here. a little no, closer on that kiss now. Ooh, cl oh, oh the lips on the lips, man. There's a 
own steps to go down here. It's a very steep stairway, but it's that's, very that's pretty. That's also the way the trail goes. If you go down here, you go all the way to that cross that we were at earlier on this film. Pretty cool. It's a real pretty stretch. Yeah. It's cool. Now we're getting to the sunset. This is cameraman Dave. New cameraman here. My first time ever. That's a big old fancy house up there. We hope to have one like that someday. Kind of panning Morgan's deep again. Sun's probably in your eyes about now. That's the cameraman. That's been the cameraman for this whole trip, except for me. He's an old buddy. Turning around here, a bunch of forest. There's the road. Our house is up that road, about three minute walk. And there's the big house again, so we did a whole circle. It's going and not. Oh, it's, it's going flashing. still. Yeah, you just see the record. How do I shut it off? You just. I look ugly. You're right. <laughs> it's so nice, Brad. And for these two people, we wouldn't be having these pictures. <laughs> Brad and Rosemary, our hey. weekend guests. <laughs> I was quietly raking leaves one afternoon and they came up and they, they disturbed my leaf raking and surprised me. Well, but they're welcome on the trail here a little bit. One thing there's plenty of for everybody here is trails. Trails and leaves, animals and cold for right now. We can look off the bluff. We're going to look off the bluff here. A big old rock here. We'll try not to step off the rock, but it is a big rock. I think it's called a bluff. See that? Straight down. We'll try to avoid that today. Nice. It's probably too hard, too dark to see the, the village down there, but there's a small town called Cowan and Winchester. Morgan's Deep, more of it, more of the same. Take this out, I'll show you how to... Another shot of the sun going down. Okay, see, you notice stop. how the camera's going in and it's out? And they can't focus on a point out there. I'm looking at it. There it goes, look at it, it's about halfway down now. It's not... Get the, get the two of them with it, drop them in the background. You want both of you? I can get both of you here. Here. In front of the sun going down on Sewanee. We want to invite you to come see us. No. It's right on the way to Florida from the North Country. I-24, <laughs> top of the mountain. <laughs>